to the channel Mummy Oats and my next video which is a Haven Come Pack With Me. So I thought I would just quickly show you how I personally pack for Haven and share any tips that I have for packing. So I think the first one for me is that to remember not everybody gets changed from morning to evening. Some people do, some people don't, but I was taking sort of two outfits per day, each for me and my son which was just crazy because sometimes we didn't have time to get changed, sometimes we didn't really want to get changed, there was no need to. Um, sometimes we were sort of having to make time to go home and get changed, which was just crazy. I tend to find, especially Monday to Friday and during term time, that most people are kind of casually dressed when you go into the show bar and you don't want to feel like you're overdressed. Um, I do take a few nice outfits for me and my son for on a weekend or if we want to get dressed up, which is great. Um, but I don't take two outfits a day anymore and sometimes it's just something as simple as changing a t-shirt so this is how I pack for Thomas as you can see there's a pair of trousers and then inside is a t-shirt that he can wear and that's so that he can dress himself because he is 10 but his needs mean that sometimes he doesn't match things very well um, sometimes if he finds a t-shirt he likes he wants to wear the same one over and over again which obviously isn't great and sometimes he doesn't dress weather appropriate so by doing it like that he can go in and he can grab an outfit so he has some element of control but I know that it's appropriate sometimes what I do as well on the theme of sort of just changing a t-shirt is I will pack two t-shirts folded into one pair of trousers so one of them will be for during the day and one of them will be for on a night time and again, Thomas has the choice of which t-shirt he wears when on there. I often bundle them as well into sort of older clothes and newer clothes. So the older clothes is what I will tell Thomas he can wear if we go to the park or maybe doing something art and crafty or nature rocks where he's likely to get dirty and I don't want him to ruin new clothes. So I take the older clothes for that and they get put on a separate shelf when we get to the caravan, which I will show you when we go. This is how I pack his tracksuits. Again, on the theme of keeping things together and I'm not knowing what kind of matches. So this is his North Face tracksuit. So this is the, the hoodie and inside there is his trousers and his t-shirt and it's all folded into the hood of the hoodie, which saves space, but also means that all of the, the tracksuit is together for him to grab when he wants to wear it. Similarly, that's how I packed his sleepwear. So he wears an oversized hoodie instead of a dressing gown. And inside this oversized hoodie is two pairs of pyjamas and a pair of bed socks, which Thomas wears instead of slippers. So they all go into the suitcase, ready to go. Now there's no shoes or anything in there and I will show you how I pack my shoes separately. And this is the t-shirt that Thomas will travel in, which obviously I'll put out on Friday when we go. And um, there's a pair of trousers that go with that and um, that go on the dry that are on the drying rack and the likelihood is he will go out on Friday night wearing what we have travelled in. Just because there's not likely to be much time to get changed as we're not leaving until after school on Friday, but that's fine because we're only about an hour and a half away from the park where we're going. So yes, I will show you how I pack shoes and toiletries and things in just a moment. So this is how I pack my towels and other items to take on holiday rather than putting them in the suitcase. So this is a like a camping trek bag. It's called a trek buddy. Um, which I actually picked up in Home Bargains about a year ago. I think they do them pretty much every summer. Um, and it's got lots of different compartments which I obviously use for to pack the things that won't fit in the suitcase. So in this main compartment here, I've got the hairdryer, and um, that's kind of like a first aid kit, which I'll show you in a moment, towels and shoes in the bottom. Then in the first front pull down compartment, this is where I store all of the toiletries. So this is Thomas's pouch. It's got these kind of ease mouthwash and toothpaste and flannel. One thing that I do, because we do go away quite often, is I have my own sort of travel toothbrushes which are only used for when we're going away then they're washed put back in these holders and stored ready for the next time just to slip into the bag so that's his toothbrush 
because what was happening was I was waiting until the morning. Obviously, we were cleaning our teeth and you could guarantee I would forget to put the toothbrushes in the bag at the last minute. So I was having to buy them when we were away. So that way it saved us having to do that. Um, that's just my perfume and some hair bands. This is how I take my makeup because I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Um, so that's all just kind of stored in that pouch. And then this is my sort of toiletry pouch here. Um, flannel, deodorant, brush, soap. We'll both use this soap. Um, my hair straighteners are also in there. And obviously my hair dryer is in the main compartment there, as you see. So it all just kind of means I don't have to take a toiletry bag. And everything kind of fits neatly into one bag for packing into the car. So that's what it looks like when it's all packed up and ready to be put into the car. So this is literally just an old lunchbox that used to belong to my son. Um, he no longer uses it, so now I use it for the first aid bag for going away. Um, just keeps everything together. Let's see what everything is in a moment. So inside here, we've got the usual... Calpol is an essential because if your child is ill when you're on holiday, the cost of buying this at a holiday park is crazy. So it's just, it's not actual Calpol, it's just basically paracetamol suspension. And with that, we've got the syringe to dose him with. It's like we're not kind of just using teaspoons and things. There's some Vaseline and Nivea things for our lips. There's bite and sting cream because... When I went to Lakeland in September, about two years ago, I got bitten by something and ended up on antibiotics. It was quite bad. So that's just in case it happens. And we also take this to try and prevent it from happening. It's maximum strength and it's any destination. So um, it's an insect repellent. So just hopefully so that we don't get bitten again. I have a feeling it was a horsefly which bit me from around the lake at Lakeland. Um, so we're going to Haggerston this time, um, like this week. But they also have a lake, so I'm taking that with me just to try and you know stop it happening. People might think I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm taking the sun cream, but the way that the weather's been in the September, you just can't you can't guess, and it doesn't take up any room. Um, it's a factor fifty. We'll all use it if if needed, but. Probably won't need it. And then inside that I also have a box, which again was just a sandwich box. And this is where we keep all of the tablets that we take. Um, so both me and my son have pre-existing medical conditions, which we need tablets for. So those are my tablets. Um, you know, Bongella, toothache, things like that. Those are my tablets for if I get one of my headaches that I get quite frequently. So there's lots for headaches because when they hit me, they hit me hard. <laughs> um, so we're taking all of that. Um, obviously, nobody leaves home without hand gel these days. Plasters, because my son once fell over and scraped himself, we didn't have any plasters and it was a nightmare. So pack that so it just means that we've got that. Ambasol again just in case you know tooth um then we also got an inhaler stick for like if you've got a blocked nose because my son really can't cope with the blocked nose it's a sensory thing so we've got to be very very careful and these are my son's tablets and these are also thomas's tablets too and that's just paracetamol for if anybody has any kind of pain it's always good to have because as i've already said the price of medication at holiday parks is crazy so the only other bags that i put that i pack separately are our swimming bags so this one is thomas's and that one is for me um so i just have them packed and ready to go in the back of the car so that we don't have to wait until we unpack we could go on the first day or we could even go on the last day before we come home if we wanted to um now when we've been to haven previously this year they haven't been allowing any inflatables or anything in the pool so but they have been allowing these, which are just dive rings. Um, kind of go to different depths when you throw them. And it just means that Thomas has got something to keep him entertained in the pool. Especially if you're at a park that doesn't have slides. Because not every Haven Park um, has slides in it. So, for example, uh, Little Sea 
doesn't. And neither does Haggerston Castle, from what I can gather. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show you was when I go swimming, I just take one of these microfiber towels for my hair, because my hair is quite thick. Um, so it just means that I can wrap it up in the microfiber towel. Um, we haven't been able to get showered up until now, but that might have changed. So what I was doing was basically coming out of the pool, wrapping my hair up in the microfiber towel, putting my clothes on and heading back to the caravan. It just meant that my hair wasn't dripping down my back. It dries really, really quickly as well. Um, and it really takes, takes no packing. So that's what we do with the swimming bags. So that's pretty much me. That's how we pack um, for our haven holidays. Um, there's one more bag that we will pack, which will be for Thomas in the back of the car. It'll have things like juice, snacks, games, and then we kind of use those things at the caravan as well. Other than that, we'll have one bag of food just to kind of see us over the first night. And then we do tend to go and do a food shop when we're there. It just saves space in the car. Um, and we can get the same kind of supermarkets up in Berwick as we can here. And obviously we're lucky to be able to drive. It also is helpful for us because it means we'll know what sort of fridge freezer we have because we're in a deluxe we might just have a fridge with a freezer box or we may have a, a fridge freezer a three quarter size so it just means it's helpful for us when we're doing the shopping to know what storage that we we'll have available back at the caravan and um, so that's why we tend not to do it before we get there if we can help it we just have enough to kind of see us over the first night and then we'll go and do the shopping for the week on saturday so well, thank you very much for watching this video and um, I will obviously vlog while we're away and catch up with you guys soon. Bye!